guys, welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today uh, I rescued, or I'm going to show you that I rescued a cart from a burn pile, actually. Uh, I saw somebody I knew had a burn pile and they had some furniture in it, and some of them were older chairs with those spindles and stuff. Uh, and I was like, do you mind if I take my saws all out there and get those spindles off the chairs before you burn it? Uh, and he was like, go right ahead, go help yourself. And so when I got out there, I realized there was more to the burn pile than just the spindles, which I got, but there was this cart and there was also a nice big, uh, box with a rounded cover on the top. And uh, both pieces needed some work, but I thought that I could, with a little bit of work, I could um, fix them. Now, I love thrifting. I love picking up pieces at the thrift store or flea markets or uh, secondhand shops and repurposing them or upcycling them. Um, I like to make them look really good, but in my style. But what I really, really love is something like this something that was thrown away somebody thought it's not good enough to try and save i don't want to work on it i don't i don't even care if it just needs glue i don't care about it and i'm just going to throw it i don't want to deal with it um or i'm going to burn it in this case and i just i just love that just get that gives me the thrill uh i just absolutely love it so um when I found these pieces, I was completely just so excited. And I realized when I got in the truck, I was breathing heavy. Like I wasn't really doing any heavy work, but I was just like excited because all these things were flowing through my brain about the things that I could do with it and uh, how I could fix it. And hoping that what I thought they were, they were. Because you know, when you find pieces like this, you know, you, you look them over real quick and then you throw them in your vehicle and you head down the road and you can't really do a really proper inspection until you get home. And so I was like hoping that things would work out okay. And I think this is really going to be okay. I really do. Um, it's in good shape. It's been out in the rain. So it's a little like the, some of the grain is raised and stuff, but I'm going to hit that with a light sandpaper. That's not a problem. Some of these screws need to be screwed in. They're sticking out a little bit. And that may be the style, what they're supposed to do. But I'll try and get them to lay flatter if I can. Um, I even like the staining around the screws. I don't know if you can see those. I even like that. The handle, the wood handle is nice. Everything is pretty sturdy on this thing. The only thing I noticed is the middle section here is missing. There usually is a tray, like a removable tray in there that you know if you want to pull it off and put it like on your bed or something like that have breakfast in bed i believe that's um what that what that is for i'm gonna make a just a shelf that's gonna stay in there i'm gonna nail it in and i cut these boards i don't have anything that will fit um just one whole piece so i found some little pieces and i think what i can do is just nail these in and this is all gonna get painted once I sand it down. So I'm just going to put this in, nail it in there or screw it in there depending, cause this is probably really hard, hard stuff. But I did bring my drill bit so I can nail the nails in. Um, and this piece back here, it's on uh, wheels. This piece back here, there's a little piece missing in here. So what I think I'm going to do is not even worry about it and make sure this is flat because it is kind of caving in a little bit. Very sturdy still though. Nothing rotten on this thing. Uh, I'm just going to pull out this this uh, screw or bolt that's in there. And I think I'll just sand it. Once it's painted, you won't even realize that it's missing anything. Um, if you didn't know, I'm getting another booth but it's more, it's actually a room. So I need to furnish that room, get pieces that I can display things on, uh, and things that have different levels. Uh, and also different 
colored things. This one I think is going to be a green. I didn't bring it out, but I think it's going to be that card cardamom dark green from DWIL paint. I think I'm going to use that on here. And, um, but I need to just get it so it looks good first. Get this little shelf in here and get that nailed down because I don't want it moving or sliding or anything like that. And uh, then once it's painted, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. I may put some kind of a decoupage on the middle, tr middle, uh, the top tray up here actually. And um, I'm not sure yet. And I think I may take the wheels off because they've got hair and carpet all round up in there. So I think I'll just take them off and this can just sit flat on the floor. If I find some inexpensive wheels, I may put some new ones back on, but I don't, these don't really work the greatest and they don't look very nice with all that carpet and hair wound up in them. So I'm going to take that off. So um, let's get started with this and get the nails into the shelf and get it nailed down. And then I'll work on some of the other things that I need to do. Okay, I'm all out of wood filler, so I'm going to use some Gorilla Wood Glue, and I'm going to get it in a plate. Don't mind the raven squawking. Okay, so I'm putting it in a plate. This is pretty thick. I didn't have the cover on very good. All right, so I'm going to make kind of a plug for it. I got some sawdust, and I'm going to pour it in with my glue. I'm going to mix it. I don't know the ratio, just as much as you want to put in. You want a lot of the wood chips in there to make it thick so it won't drain out the bottom hole if you've got a hole at the bottom that it can come out of which this has, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna stick it in this hole here where I had the bolt. Just gonna try and get it down in that hole. I probably don't need this much glue, but shoving it into that hole until it feels full. Now, I got to clean that up because I don't want to keep that glue over the top of the, um, the wood. I want it nice and, you're going to let it dry for a little bit, which it dries pretty quick. But I want it nice and flat when I sand it so I can sand it down. But then you get this. Fun. Playing in the glue. All right. So while I'm waiting for that, those two spots to dry up a little bit, I'm going to sand it, sand this down, just avoiding these two corners. Let's see what I have for grit on here. This is 100 grit sandpaper. It's just one that I've used already. Um, It was just already on there and it's still got some grit to it. So I'm going to see what it does to clean this up. Now 
this isn't to get it, uh, you know, sanded down to nothing. It's uh, basically because it was in the rain and some of the little slivers popped up in the grain. And so I'm just trying to smooth it out so when I paint it, it won't catch. It'll be a nice smooth paint, paint job. dry. I've got two coats of the cardamom green on this cart. And I think what I'm going to do is this beautiful chicken paper from Zazzle on the top. A little bit of it's going to go away, but I'm going to keep, keep it because I'm sure I can use it on something else. But um, I want to use it just the very top of this cart. So I have my Mod Podge and I have my brush put my Mod Podge on. I have a little spritzer of water to help um, loosen up the paper a little bit. I have my plastic bag to, to flatten it out so I don't rip it. I also need, what else do I need? My scissors. And I want to, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go this way with it. I don't want to cut the chicken up too much. I guess either way. It's gonna be either way. So this paper is just beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to try and get the chicken and the rooster centered straight. I'm going to do this in sections. I'm using a small brush because I don't want the Mod Podge to go all up the sides of this cart. And I'll be able to get in the corners really well with it. So I'm just doing a little small portion at the top here. Spritz a little bit. Not too much. I'm gonna get this.
And I also didn't paint the background of this. Usually, typically you would paint uh, like a off white or a white color underneath to make the paper pop. I think the coloring has got enough in it so that I'll be able to, you'll be able to still see the color and it will just age it a little bit using that brown background. So I'm not, I didn't bother to paint. Okay, and the last thing that I want to do is take some antique wax and put it on this handle. So we're going to stain it up. Oh, and I love this look. I love this. It's not quite dry yet, but see the handle? Brown, brown matches. Then you got your pops of green that are going to match. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. It came out awesome. Got a little bit of a rip right there, but that'll be all right. I'm going to be cutting that because there's a little extra on there. So I was just trying to push it down in the crack, and I guess I pushed too hard. But once this is dry, I can mess around with it a little and get it cleaned up. But I think that came out so good. What a transformation from a trash burn pile to treasure, I think. I think it's so cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to distress it yet. I'm not gonna seal it. DWIL paint is already got a sealer in it, so there's no need. It's very sturdy paint. Um, so I think I'm going to distress it a little bit on the edges just to give it some character because it's kind of flat right now to me. But um, not a lot, unless I really love it and I just keep going, but I, I really like what it looks like now, so. I think um, this is good. So of course I had to try a little bit of antique wax along the edges where I've sanded to see if that would darken up that, that wood underneath. And it does. So I'm just going to go along the edges and try and darken up the where I sanded some of that off. So it kind of matches with the handle, the rooster. I think that's gonna look really good. So I am going to seal the tops of each shelf with the polycrylic so that they are nice and uh, sealed in and you can set things on there and not get them all scratched and scraped up. 
Uh, but for the rest of it, I'm just going to leave it. I touched it up with antique wax on the edges. Leave me a comment down below. Do you like my trash to treasure makeover? Let me know what you think. Look down in the description for the link to the paper on Zazzle and DWIL paint. I'll have a link to both of those down there. Make sure if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this next one that's on your screen. I know you're going to like it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.